Okay, so today's lesson is we're going to make a flower pot that's in a vase. We have a couple of new things that we haven't done before in this problem, and we're going to talk about them right now. The uh, The first thing we're going to have uh, that we're going to come across that we haven't before is when we're making this vase, because the, the best way to make this vase is probably to draw it with a, a, a shape, the line shape, and kind of divide it in half and draw half of it and then use a lathe modifier which rotates it around you guys that are familiar with inventor might know the revolve command it'll be somewhat like that and then the other thing we've never done before is these flower petals are arranged in a pattern around the the center of the flower and so we're going to use the array command to do that which we haven't done so those are two things that will be new to you in this lesson first thing we're going to do is uh, go ahead and make the vase so let's get started so what I'm going to do here is I have, you know, my viewports set up the way, you know, standardly is set up. And I'm going to want to just take this front viewport and maximize it. So I just have one big space I can draw and it will make it a little bit easier. Um, go to your, your shapes tools and then we're going to select line. And using this, you see the dark black lines that separate the grid. We're going to, I'm going to kind of use this black line in the middle to as a frame of reference as to what the middle of this vase will be. So I start on the bottom and remember you need to be on your drag type Bezier curve. You can see it already is on that to the right. And what I need to do is I need to hold on to the button when I'm clicking to make a curve. So as I do that I can get kind of a curved shape. Now in this vase the bottom part of it kind of has a little little part where maybe it would trap water or something like that. I clicked the button by accident, so I'm going to start again. This is commonly part of the problem when you're drawing lines if you don't get it the way you want it to. So I'm just going to click up, click in a little bit. Once I'm here, I'm going to go out a bit. And then I'm going to use my scroll wheel and I'm going to pan it down a little bit and I'm coming in, this vase will have kind of a curve shape to it. And then at the very top, it kind of comes out a little bit. And then when I get there, I'm just going to follow it back down the way I came. Now, is it important that this looks super good inside here? Not really. You're not gonna, Nobody's going to really see this in here because of the way this model is oriented. But I'll just go through the motions and completed as if we were making a real vase. And finally I click and yes I want to close it. So you notice at the bottom I have kind of a straight line. That's going to be important because that's what this this object will be revolved around and uh, now it's on to move the lathe modifier. So we have our object and we want to go up to our modifiers and where it says modifier list I'm going to click the down arrow and I'm going to scroll down to my lathe modifier L-A-T-H-E and those of you who have used Inventor before again you might um, recall this is somewhat like the like the revolve tool so once we did it it doesn't look right because we have to adjust our direction and our alignment so the first thing I do is go through my direction and I could just I don't have to really worry about anything other than clicking on each one of these until one gets right. So if you see X is obviously not it. Z is obviously not it. Y? That nah, kind of sort of looks like something. Then we go through alignment. I can go to minimum and right away you can see that's probably it. Let's go to the other ones just to see. Center is not right. Maximum is not right. So minimum is what we wanted and we kind of have the vase we, that we were after. Let's look back at the picture. Nah, this face looks a little taller than the one I drew. So what we can do, an easy fix, go to the top of the screen to your scale command, select the uniform scale. And then what I can do is I could just kind of get on this on the Y part of the scale and I can drag it up a little taller and adjust that vase to get it more like the one in the picture. I think that's pretty close to the one in the picture. So I'm going to get off my scale command, just go to the select command, and we have this part of the model done. So what it did was it basically took that shape and made it around the center axis which was that line that we drew on the bottom which we talked about. So next thing we have to do is we need to do an array. So I'm going to stick, stick with this front viewport 
And what I need to do is draw a flower petal. You see what these flower petals look like. So I need to draw one flower petal that's kind of elongated and and then the rest of them will come based upon that. So go back to my shapes and then I'm going to go to the ellipse command and I'm going to be kind of sort of up here a little bit above this vase and then I will let go and then there's that's what's going to be one of our flower petals. Now if I get out of this quickly you see well this this flower petal is going to be hollow if we do it like this so we we, we've got to do something to it to give it some dimension. So what I'm going to do is while this flower petal is selected, I go back to my modifiers and I'm going to take this ellipse and I'm just going to extrude it. Go to the extrude command and I don't want it to be very much, but you have to put some amount in. If you put no amount, it will be hollow. So I'm going to put something like 0.2, something real thin because the flower petal is real thin. And there you have it. And you can see it's really thin. If I turn it sideways, there's not much to it. So going back to this front viewport, now we're going to worry about this array. So something we have to do with an array is an array is when you're going to make a, a distribution of objects around something. So what we want to do is we want to change the, the, uh, part, the point where this thing will revolve around. And because if we don't change it and I do a, an array, it'll just put all these flower petals up on each other and spun around the center of this ellipse. If I go to move, you can see that's where the center point of this ellipse is right here. So we want to take that and we want to move it down here so, so we can arrange it around in a circular pattern. So what I'm going to do is I need to move that. So the way I do it is I go up to my, my hierarchy and then I click on the adjust pivot, effect pivot only, and now you can see these big giant arrows came out and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the Y and I'm just gonna go straight down and what I'm trying to do is that little whatever you call the center section of that flower whatever that is called we wanna go down to where about the center of that would be because that's what we're gonna revolve around I think this is about right and once you get it where you want just click this a second time and it disappears and now you see how the move axis moved down here that's what we were trying to accomplish there next to move on to the array I'm going to go to the tools command and scroll down to where it says array and I click on it. And this looks super complicated but it's really not. We need to pick uh, which axis and what we want to do. We want to move, if we wanted to make a bunch of these in a row, that could be an array. But what we want to do is we want to rotate them around the center. So we want to go to the rotate one and it's probably going to be on zero. I've done something before so it already it already went back to that. So I'm going to go to rotate and I'm going to type in 360 in the Z axis, which is the one where, because this is X and Y, so we want to rotate around the third axis. And then on the count, it'll probably be on 10. Mine's on 9 because I've already done this model. So I'm going to hit 9, not 89. I'm going to hit 9 and then I'm going to click preview and you can see what happened there. And that's kind of what we're trying to hit. So I'm going to hit OK. And if I get out of this viewport, you can see we just made all of our flower petals. Now, looking at the model, it looks like the flower petals are kind of in front of the vase, and there's a stem in the back we haven't made yet in the center section. So I need to move those petals. So the first thing I'm going to do is select them all, and I'm going to group them. Click group, and I'm going to type in petals. Do you really have to name it? You don't have to. It's not, it's not um, like a rule or anything, but if you get in the habit of doing this when you make more complicated models later you'll just be in the mode of doing that and you won't get um, messed up with a more complicated model. So I'm going to hit OK and then what I need to do is look at my different viewports I need to uh, move forward. You can see this straight line represents these petals so I need to move either this way or this way and I guess I'll go this way I'll go in, in front of it like this a little bit and you can see the petals are just in front of the vase right now Eh, maybe not that much. I'll move it back a little bit. That's pretty good. So the next thing I need to do is go to my um, Create tab and go to our standard primitives. Change that to Extended Primitives. And I'm going to use an, I think an oil tank would be good. An oil tank is like a cylinder that has kind of a, I don't know, round top on it. But it's not. it's sharp at the edges, but it's round on top. So what we're going to do is I'm going to click oil tank and then uh, what I want to do is go in the middle of this 
and I'm gonna make this part you can see in the top viewport if I drag this with the oil tank will be we want it to be kind of kind of like that so I just made that that center section let's look at our colors real quick I'm not the colors are super important but I'm gonna I'm gonna make it like the model that's in there and by some stroke of luck I kinda have colors that are similar but I can see that I want this flower pot to be it looks like a a I don't know greenish tan whatever color that is so somewhere up, up in here I think is the right color and then the actual flower petals are blue they're a light blue so I'm gonna click on that and choose one of these light blue colors and then finally the center of it is a dark blue so I click on that and I make it dark blue hit OK now you can see the center of that looking in perspective you can see it's not lined up so I need to move that so I'm gonna go ahead and get on the move command and get this in the top viewport and move it forward so it's just right in the middle of those flower petals kinda of like that and that's good and we have one more thing to do the last thing we have to do is just draw a line to make the flower stem and probably the left viewport will be best for this you can see here is our here is our flower right here is the vase so I'm just gonna go to my line command and I'm going to click in the center of the flower and I'm gonna go out a little ways and then click and hold down the mouse remember hold down the mouse make sure you're on busier curve and then I'm just gonna put this flower stem in the vase I don't have to care if it goes all the way down as long as it goes in you can't tell is that the smoothest curve now you could probably do a better job but you get the idea now the next thing you remember is if I have this line right here and I render it real quick it'll be invisible because we haven't we haven't turned on the um, visibility of it so what I'm gonna do is where it says rendering click the down arrow and I'm gonna check enable and render enable and viewport And when you enable and viewport you can make it so it's thicker and let's go ahead and render that now that thickness is gonna be determined on the scale of the model I think I made this model a little bit big that's why I did one it looks really thin so I can change that thickness if I go to 10 and hit enter then I can re-render it see what it looks like as you can see it got a little thicker this must be a really big a scale model so I'm just gonna go to like let's try a hundred and see what that looks like that looks pretty good um, it's supposed to be brown so let's go ahead and do that too instead of pink we'll make it brown and then let's render it again and there you go so get your flower pot so it's oriented the, the way you want it to look I'll make this viewport bigger so we can just get it right and I'll kinda of turn it around a little bit like that and go ahead and render it click the render production and there's our flower pot compared to this one it's about right so that is how you make a flower pot and vase